Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make these fingerless gloves right here. Now they don't have any of the crocodile stitches on the back. Now this was not my idea. This was um, an idea of one of my fans. This is Maria's idea, so I want to make sure she gets credit for it because I did not come up with this. Uh, she asked me if I could do a crocodile stitch fingerless glove where the stitches were only on the top and not on the bottom because it becomes bulky when they're on the bottom and I completely understand where she's coming from and I think that was I thought it was an excellent idea so she asked me if I could do it and I just executed it I made it and I hope she likes it I hope that's what she had in mind but see it's flat on the bottom and you got their pretty stitches on top now this is definitely not a beginner pattern it's probably going to be intermediate to advanced and it's kind of a long video because I take you from very first row to the very last row because it gets kind of tricky because it has a lots lots of slip stitches and stuff. You got to try to keep your keep your spot and everything. So I apologize for the long video, but the yarn I used is Mandala Lion Brand Mandala yarn. I do hate three. It's a three ply lightweight. I do hate three ply lightweight, but um, it worked good for these. Um, One skein made made a set of gloves. Um, you don't have to use this, but I would recommend a lightweight number three for these gloves. So uh, the color I use is called Chimera. And I use the size H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, you wanna start off with a chain of 30. And then without twisting your chain, you wanna follow it down and we're gonna slip stitch into the first chain to form a large ring. And now this we're starting on the cuff part first. So we're just going to slip stitch into that first stitch like that. And then we're going to chain one. Now we're going to go right back through that same spot that we slip stitched into and do a single crochet. So right back into it. I hate working with three ply yarn. Like that. And now we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until we get back to the beginning. Just like this. And when you get back to the beginning, you should have a total of 30 stitches. Okay, when you make it back around and you have your 30 stitches, what we're going to do, and that's 30 stitches, not counting that chain one. That chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So you got your 30 stitches. Now I'm going to be working in rounds, so you're going to need a stitch marker. And I'm just going to use this piece of yarn here. So I'm going to put it right here where I just ended. And I'm going to be working now in the back loops only. You can see the stitch has two loops. The one closest to you is your front loop. The one furthest away is the back loop. So what I'm going to do is jump right over to the very first stitch and single crochet in the back loop of it only. Like that. And then the next stitch, back loop only, single crochet. And I'm going to work one single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch all the way around. And all that's doing is putting a little ridge on the cuff here, just for decoration, I guess. If you don't like that ridge, you can just go through both loops and it'll just be plain single crochet. But I'm going to go through the back loop, one single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch until I get back to my stitch marker. And when I get to back to my stitch marker, I still should have 30 stitches. Okay, once you make it back around at the end of round two and you have 30 stitches still at your stitch marker, go ahead and pull it up and put it up like that. And then we're gonna re we're just gonna repeat that last row that we did. So I'm gonna jump to the next stitch and single crochet into the back loop. 
and I'm going to work one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch again. So I'm going to repeat this row for a total of eight, eight rounds. Right now we're working on round three. So we want a total of eight. So I'm going to work one single crochet in the back loop only. And when I get back to my stitch marker, I should always have 30 stitches. And then I just move my stitch bar marker up and I go around again. And I'm going to do that for a total of eight rounds. Round three is what we're on. So I'm going to go ahead and work until I get my eight rounds done. And that will be the ending of the cuff. Okay, I've made it back around after I did my um, eight rounds. Now I'm going to do one round of increases. So I'm going to go ahead and move my stitch marker up. But I'm going to be working through both loops now. So no more working um, in the back loop only. It's both loops now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one single crochet into the first seven or six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the next one I'm going to put two stitches in, two single crochets. So there's one and two. And that's why I'm going to repeat all the way around. And you see I'm going through both loops. So one single crochet into the next stitch, six stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the next one is going to be two single crochets into the same stitch. And I'm going to repeat this until I get around to my stitch marker. One single crochet in the next six. And then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next six. Two single crochets into the next. And you should have two stitches left over before you get to your stitch marker. And just go ahead and put one single crochet in those last two stitches there. Just like that. And now you should have 34 stitches all the way around. And 34 is the number of stitches we're going to try to keep while we're doing the crocodile stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and take my stitch marker out because we're not going to need it anymore. And what I'm going to do is slip stitch over into the first stitch. Just like that. Now in order to do crocodile stitches, you, they are made on a base of double crochets. So now we're just going to go around and work one double crochet in every stitch. So we're going to start off with a chain of three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet. And then we're going to work along, working in both loops. Remember, we're not going to work one loops anymore working one double crochet in every stitch until we get back to our starting point. And you should have 34 double crochets and that is counting that beginning chain three when you get back around. So one double every stitch until you get right back over here to the beginning. Okay, so I made it around and I have my 34 stitches and that's counting this chain three. So I'm going to go ahead and end by slipping into the top of my beginning chain three. And now I'm going to work some crocodile stitches. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work it down 
this chain three. So what I kind of do is fold my piece in half and kind of pull that chain three up. And I'm going to work five double crochets down the post of this chain three here. So I'm going to yarn over and go right through the post and double crochet. And I want to do that five times. So that's one. Two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to chain one and kind of flip my work around. And now I'm going to go five double crochets up the next post. So I just kind of pull this post up and flip it so I pull it up so I can see. And now I'm going to work five double crochets up this post. So I'm going to go around the post and start working five double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So now what I'm going to do is skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next. So just skip one and slip stitch into the next. And you can see you got your first crocodile stitch made. Now again I'm going to skip one and these two stitches here is what I'm going to make my next crocodile stitch. So skip one and then the next stitch I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to work five double crochets down that post. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to chain one, kind of flip my work around, and then grab my very next post and I kind of pull up on it so I can work through it and work five double crochets up this post. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Skip one stitch, slip stitch into the next. Skip one stitch and we'll work our crocodile stitches in these next two stitches here. So you skip this one and work around the post of the next and you work five double crochets down that post. So there's one, two, three, four, five, chain one, flip your work over and grab your very next double crochet and I kind of pull up on it and now I'm going to work five double crochets up this post. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next stitch, slip stitch into the next. Skip the next stitch and then we'll work our crocodile stitch in the next two. So grab, skip one and grab the next one and pull it up. And yarn over and work five double crochets around that post. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, turn it around, grab your next post, five double crochets up, 
the next post. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to skip one, slip stitch into the next. And now we're going to stop, pull up, and look. And you can see we have four crocodile stitches. And that's going to be our first row of crocodile stitches. It's going to be four. The next row will be three. And then the next row after that will be four, then three, then four. They'll just alternate. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in every single stitch across here until we get back over here to our very first stitch. So we're just going to start slip stitching. We need to slip stitch into the very first uh, chain three. Remember we went down this chain three here. So go ahead and slip stitch. You got to look for it. Slip stitch into that. Just like that. So now we made it all the way across. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another base row of double crochet for our next row of crocodile stitches but we're going to do this one a little different but we're going to start with a chain three so one two three and that's going to be our first double crochet and we want our next crocodile stitches to be in the middle so what we're going to do is do one double crochet in every stitch until we get over here to the middle so this would be this chain three you got to look at the stitches behind the double behind the crocodile stitches it's it's really kind of hard to see because we're working with a lot of slip stitches but you just got to try to make sure that you're going in the right ones so the next one will be right here so that's two the next one will be right here in the middle that's three the next one is four and the fifth one will be in the middle here so what we're going to do with this middle stitch is we're going to put two double crochets in the same stitch so if you look back you can see it's where we slip stitched so just kind of grab right in between the stitches and work two double crochets in that same stitch and now I'm going to skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the next so I skipped one so there'll be you can see that one I skipped right there like that and then double crochet into the next and then one double crochet into the next and then, though, see, now there's going to be three double crochets in between where we put two double crochets. So now we're at the middle again. And you can see this middle stitch here. So we're going to put two double crochets into that middle. It's in between these two crocodile stitches. So we're going to yarn over and just kind of grab somewhere in the middle there, like that, and work two double crochets into that stitch. Now that first row was a little bit different, but the remaining rows are going to be like this one. And now we're going to skip this next stitch and double crochet into the next. So you can see it right here, we're skipping this one. 
and we're double crocheting into the next one which is right here and then we're double crocheting right here into the middle right here and then one double crochet into this next stitch here and that will bring us in between the next scales and that's where we're going to put two double crochets again so go right in and put two double crochets where there's two double crochets is where we're going to put our next scale again we will skip the next stitch so we're skipping this stitch right here and we're going into this one right here and double crochet and then we double crochet into this middle stitch and then we double crochet into the next stitch and as you can see now we have three places that have two double crochets into the same stitch and that's where our scales are going to be and we only want three scales this row so now we're just going to work one double crochet in every stitch until we get back to the beginning now what we're going to do is we are going to skip one stitch here and we're going to work a double crochet into the next like that and now we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch until we get back to the beginning now you can see the row of slip stitches right here along the side if you look closely we're not going into them we're going into the stitch on the top so what I do is I kind of pull up and pull down with my thumb and pull up with my hook and that brings the stitch that you need to go into it pops it right up so you can see it right here and I'm gonna work one double crochet in every one of them stitches that are on top of the slip stitches from the previous round and they should be pretty easy to see if you're pulling down and pulling up like I said they'll pop right up I'm going to put one in every stitch and so we get back to the beginning and you want to make sure you have 34 double crochets when you get back to the beginning you need that's the number that you need to make sure you always have and sometimes it's kind of hard to get that because you're working with all these slip stitches and it's hard to see where the stitches need to go but like I said if you pull on them and pull down and pull up they'll pop right up and you'll be able to see really good where they need to go and when you make it back to the beginning and you have your 34 stitches I'm gonna count real quick counting this chain three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I did it. I don't always do it. So don't get discouraged if you don't. Just kind of go back and look and see where you might have missed a stitch or put too many stitches. And now we're just going to slip stitch into that beginning chain three, like that. Now we need to get over here. To where these two double crochets are so we're going to slip stitch one two three four times so here's one two three and four and now where these two double crochets are together we're going to make our next scale so we chain one and we're going to work down this first one so I turn it on its side and work five double crochets down that stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five, chain one, turn it and work five double crochets up the stitch that's in the, the other double crochet that's in that same stitch. So go right through it. Sometimes it's hard to maneuver. There we go. And five double crochets. There's one, two, three, 
four, and five. Now we're going to skip one, slip stitch into the next, skip one, and then you'll be at your two double crochets, and that's where you put your next scale. So five double crochets down the first one. Chain one, and then five double crochets up the next one. Skip one, slip stitch into the next, skip one, and then you'll be at your two doubles again. So you want to work a crocodile stitch in these doubles. So five double crochets down the post of the first one. One, two, three, four, five, chain one, and then five double crochets down the post, or up the post of the next one. One, two, three, four, five, skip one, double crochet, or slip stitch into the next, and now when you look, you'll have your three crocodile stitches for that row. So now we're going to put, we're going to slip stitch all the way across until we get back to the beginning. One slip stitch in every stitch until you get back to your starting point. Okay, I have made it to the end. Now the end of the row is this chain three here. It's not over here where we started the crocodile stitch. It's actually this chain three here. So when you make it there, just go ahead and slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. And we did slip stitch into it, but so go into the top of the stitch. And now we're going to chain three again, which counts as our first double crochet. Now we want to get into the middle of this crocodile stitch here so we can do another crocodile stitch. We want to put two double crochets in that middle stitch so when we go back around again the crocodile stitch will be staggered. So we're going to go ahead and put a slip stitch into the next stitch. I'm sorry, a double crochet into the next stitch like that. And then the next stitch is actually the middle stitch, so we're going to put two double crochets into the next. So what we did to start was a chain three, one double crochet, and then two double crochets. Now we're going to skip the next stitch like we did before, so we just, we skip this one, and then we double crochet into this one. And then we double crochet right here into the middle one. Some people go right through it like that. You can do that. I usually don't. I go right to the top of the stitch. Either way is fine. And then double crochet into the next stitch, which is right here. If you turn your work over and look on the back, you can see your stitches better. Like that. And now we're in between these two crocodile stitches. So again, we're going to put two double crochets in that spot because that's where we're going to put an, a crocodile stitch. So just kind of go in the top of it there. My yarn keeps splitting. And work two double crochets. And now we're going to skip the next stitch 
So we skip this one and double crochet into the next one. Double crochet here in the middle. And double crochet into the next one, which is right here. And now we're at the middle again in between these two crocodile stitches. So we're going to work two double crochets right here in between them. So there's one. And two. Again, we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. Double crochet into the middle. And double crochet into the next. Like that. And if you look, we have one, two, three spots to put scales. We need to do one more. So what we're going to do right here at the end of this one is put two double crochets into the top or into that stitch here at the end. It's one and two. And that'll be our last scale. So as you can see, again, there's three stitches in between each of the two double crochets that we're going to put our scales. And we got four sets of two double crochets. So that's where we're going to put our scales. So now again, we're going to put one double crochet in every stitch until we get back over here to the beginning. So we're going to skip this next stitch. Since we put two doubles here, we skip this one and we'll go in to this next one and double crochet like that. And then kind of pull up and you'll be able to see the stitch one double crochet. Here's the next one in each of the stitches until we get back to our starting point. You see when you pull, they pop right up. You, just with this pattern, it's just important just to kind of look and make sure you're getting the right stitches. Because working with all these slip stitches, sometimes it's hard to tell. But you'll get it. And like I said, the easiest way is to kind of pull down with this and pull up with your hook and that'll pop your next stitch right up. And now when you get to the end, you should have 34 stitches and you can still see that row of slip stitches that we did not work into or anything, and that's fine. But if you want to count, always count to make sure you have 34. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And I do. So we're going to slip stitch into our beginning chain three and like that now our last row was three crocodile stitches so remember we're going to do four this time so we're going to go ahead and slip stitch two times until we get to this where we put two double crochets in the same stitch so slip stitch into the next stitch and then into the next stitch chain one and then we'll work our crocodile stitch right here along these two stitches so five double crochets down the first one there's one two three four five chain one turn it five double crochets up the next one One, two, three, four, five, skip one, slip stitch into the next, skip one, 
skip one and then you'll be where you need to put your next crocodile stitch so five double crochets one two three four five chain one and five double crochet up the next post one two three four and five skip one slip stitch into the next skip one crocodile stitch into the next so go ahead and repeat that do this crocodile stitch in this one and I'll meet you when we get to our last crocodile stitch here okay I did my last crocodile stitch so we have one two three four on that side so I'm gonna skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next and now I'm gonna slip stitch in every single stitch until we get back to the beginning okay and I went ahead and ended in a slip stitch into that beginning chain three there so now we only need three scales for this next row so we're going to start off with a chain of three which counts as our first double crochet so we want to start our first scale right here in the middle so we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch A double crochet into the next a double crochet into the next and then a double crochet in the next so that's like five in a row we're actually repeating the row that we did down here when we did three uh, three scales so we're right here in the middle now we need to put two double crochets right here into this middle spot Now we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next, double crochet into the middle, and double crochet into the next. And now we're in between these two scales, so now we got to put two double crochets right here in between. That'll be the spot for our next scale. Skip one stitch double crochet into the next double crochet right there in the middle double crochet in the next and now we're in between the next two scales so we're going to put two double crochets right here in between like that so now we have three sets of two double crochets and that'll be our three scales for this round so we're going to skip one stitch double crochet into the next and now we're going to double crochet in every stitch all the way back to the beginning and when you get back to the beginning you should have 34 double crochets still So I'm going to go ahead and work until I get back to the beginning and then I'm going to count and make sure I have my 34. Okay, I've made it and I counted and I have 34 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of my beginning chain 3. And now we're going to have 3 scales this round. So we need to slip stitch over until we get to our first uh, stitch that has 2 double crochets in it. So we'll be slip stitching five times. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So now we're in that first double crochet there. And we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna work our crocodile stitch. So five double crochets down
chain one and five up the uh, the next stitch Now we're going to skip the next stitch, slip stitch into the next, skip the next stitch, and do our crocodile stitch over these two stitches. And then we'll skip one, slip stitch, skip one, and crocodile into our next stitch. And then we'll have three crocodiles. So I'm going to go ahead and do my three crocodile stitches, and I'll meet you here at this last one. Okay, I just did my third crocodile stitch there on that row. Now I'm going to skip one stitch, slip stitch into the next, and I'm going to slip stitch into every single stitch until I get back to my beginning. Lots and lots of slip stitches with this pattern. Okay, when we make it back to the beginning, and by the beginning I mean this chain three here, not over here where we started, we slip stitch into the top of that chain three. And now we gotta do a row for four crocodile stitches. And after this row, we'll do a thumb hole. So we're gonna chain three, like that. And we're gonna double crochet into the next stitch and then the next stitch we will double crochet into we need to get right here to the center stitch here and that's where we'll put two double crochets right here in the middle of this crocodile stitch. See it right here? Because that's where we're going to start our next crocodile stitch. Like that. Okay, skip one stitch, and double crochet into the next, double crochet into the middle, double crochet into the next, and now we're going to be in the middle of these two, so we got to put two double crochets into the next. There's one and two. Skip one, double crochet in the next, double crochet right here in the middle, double crochet into the next. Now we're in the middle of these two. Two double crochets right here. That'll be our next crocodile stitch. Skip one stitch double crochet in the next, double crochet in the middle, double crochet into the next, and then the next stitch will get two double crochets. And that'll be for our last crocodile stitch. We got four spaces that have two double crochet for our four crocodile stitches. So we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. So remember when I said pull up on down with this thumb and up on this and your stitch that you need to go into should pop right up right there on top of the slip stitch. And we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch until we get back to the beginning and you want to make sure again that you have 34 stitches. Okay, made it back, got my 34 stitches. Slip stitch into the top of my beginning chain three. Like that. 
Now I need to slip stitch one, two, three times till I get over here to this first V stitch. So it's one, two, three, chain one. Now I'm going to work my crocodile stitch right here into this little V stitch. I call it a V stitch, but it's not really. It's just two double crochets into the same stitch. So I'm going to work five doubles down it chain one and work five doubles up it Skip one stitch, slip stitch into the next, skip one stitch, and crocodile stitch right here in this V or in this two double crochets in the same stitch. And then we're just going to repeat that until we get four crocodile stitches made. So right over here will be your last one. So I'll meet you right over here when we get our fourth one made. Okay, I did my fourth crocodile stitch there. And now I'm going to skip one and slip stitch into the next and slip stitch in every stitch until I get back to the beginning. Back to the beginning, I mean the chain three here. So go ahead and slip stitch into the top of that chain three, like that. Now we're going to make a thumb hole rows. Now the only difference actually is for your right hand, the thumb hole is going to go over here, and for your left hand, the thumb hole will go over here. So we'll do, I'll show you how to do the right hand and the left hand. This is actually going to be my left handed glove, but I'll start by showing you how to do the right hand because I already have my right handed glove made right here. Here's the hole. So we need to do three crocodile stitches first. So we'll get that made first. So what we need to do is double crochet until we get over here to the middle of these two. So we're going to start by chaining three, which is our first double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Maybe. And into the next. And into the middle. And into the next so that was five in a row there counting that chain three now the next spot is in between these two so we're going to put two double crochets in the same stitch and that will be our first crocodile now we're going to skip one stitch double crochet into the next double crochet into the middle double crochet into the next and we're in between these two crocodile stitches so we're going to put two double crochets into that spot my colors change into a pretty pretty purple I like that I love the color changes in this mandible yarn I hate that it's three pie but it does have pretty colors so now we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next, double crochet into the middle, double crochet into the next, and we're in the middle of these two shells so we're going to put two 
double crochets right there into the middle. So now we have three spaces that have two double crochets in them. So that'll be for our three shell stitches. So we're going to skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, and double crochet into the next. And then I'm going to double crochet into the next. So what I have done is four, I got my V stitch here, or my two double crochets in the same stitch and I did four double crochets after that. Now I'm going to do a chain of six. This is for the right glove. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I will skip six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and double crochet into the next and double crochet in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. Now what you want to do is count and make sure that you have 34 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, plus these six chains. So that's 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and I got one more room for one more, and that'll be 34 stitches. Now that is for the right glove. And then what you would do is so it's 34 counting in these six here you would slip stitch here and continue making your uh, crocodile stitches now that's for the right glove and when you try it on you can see that that's how it's gonna look now I'm gonna do the left glove too so I'm gonna take this out and only difference is instead of skipping stitches here we're gonna skip stitches at the end so, I did my two here, and then I got one, two, this is for the left glove, one, two, three, four, and continue putting, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, skip six, and you'll have one left to double crochet in. And then you'll end with the slip stitch into the beginning chain three. Now this is for the left glove. And you want to count and make sure you have 34, counting these six here, that we chained. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and 34 makes my last one. So that is correct for me. And that either way, left or right, we're going to continue the same way. I hope that's not confusing. I'm just going to do the whole, my video is probably going to be pretty long. I'm trying to do the whole glove with you because it is a little confusing. So now what we want to do is slip stitch five times till we get to this V stitch or this where we put the two double crochets in the same stitch. So there's one two, three, four, five, and now we're going to do our croc chain one and do our crocodile stitch here around these two stitches. chain one, go to the next one and do your other side of your crocodile stitch, same 
skip one, slip stitch into the next, skip one, and crocodile stitch. Skip one, slip stitch, skip one, and crocodile stitch. So I'm going to meet you over here at the end of my third crocodile stitch. Okay, I just did my third crocodile stitch, and remember, I'm working on my left glove. So I'm going to skip one and single or slip stitch into the next. Now, if you want to slip stitch until you get to your chain space. If you're working on your right glove, your chain space is coming right up. And when you get to your chain space, you want to work six single crochets through the chain space. So if you're on your right glove, your chain space will be over here. So you're probably right near it. Six single crochets through the chain space. And then you can continue slip stitching until you get back to the beginning. But since I'm working on my left glove, I'm going to work slip stitches until I get to my chain space. So it's basically, basically the same. You just slip stitch until you get to your chain space, where other, where other side it is. And then you work six single crochets right through the space. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you continue working slip stitches until you get back to your beginning. Well, I'm only going to have one slip stitch left since I'm working on my left glove. And then I'm going to end with a slip stitch right here in this chain three. So now we got our thumb holes made. We're going to do two more rows of crocodile stitches real quick. So now we need to do a row of four. So we're going to slip stitch three times till we get to this middle stitch here. I'm sorry, not slip stitch. We're going to do our row of double crochet. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to double crochet in every stitch. I got a slip stitch into the top of my chain three, which I didn't do. I apologize. I told you to do it and then I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, and then we chain three. Now I'm going to put <clears throat> one double crochet in each stitch until I get into the next two stitches. So it's one and two. So counting that chain three. Sorry for all that confusion. You'll have three double crochets in a row. And then we'll be in the middle here and we're going to put two double crochets right there. And that'll be <clears throat> our first crocodile stitch. So we got to do four this round. Now we're going to skip one stitch, double in the next, double in the middle, double in the next, now we're in between these two, so we're going to put two double crochets in between them. There's one and two. Skip one, double into the next, double into the middle, double into the next. And then we're in between these two, so we're going to do two double crochets. Skip one, double into the next, double into the middle, double into the next, and then two doubles right here in this last spot. So now we have four spaces that have two double crochets in them for our four crocodile stitches and now we're going to continue we're going to skip one and then continue putting one double crochet in every stitch until we get back to the beginning and you want to make sure you have 34 stitches when you get back to the beginning
And when you get to these single crochets, this is one, it's just the same, it's just one double crochet at top of each of these six single crochets. Say it's the same for the, the left or the right glove. No matter where these are, you just put one double crochet in, in the top of each of the six. And now I have one left on this side. And now you want to count and make sure you have 34. I probably don't, but we'll count. <laughs> Thirty-four. I do. Like I said, sometimes I don't, and I just got to go back and look and see where I, I messed up. But I got thirty-four, and that's what you need to have. End it with a slip stitch into your beginning chain three. And now we're gonna start working our crocodile stitches. So we're gonna slip stitch over two times. And we're going to start our crocodile stitch here by chaining one and working our crocodile stitch. And then we'll skip one, slip stitch, skip one, crocodile stitch. And we'll repeat that until we get four crocodile stitches. And I'll meet you right over here at this last crocodile stitch. Okay, I just did my fourth crocodile stitch. So I'm going to skip one stitch, slip stitch into the next. And now I'm going to slip stitch in every stitch until I get back to the beginning. Okay, when I say back to the beginning, I mean the chain three here. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of that chain three. And now we're going to do one more row of double crochet for three rows of croc or for three crocodile stitches so we're going to chain three and we need to start our first crocodile stitch over here so we'll put one double crochet into the next one into the next one into the middle and one into the next you should have five there counting that chain three and then we'll be in the middle so we're going to do two double crochets in that spot. Now we're going to skip one, double crochet into the next, double crochet into the middle, and double crochet into the next. And then we'll be in between these two. We're going to put two double crochets in that stitch. Skip one, two double crochets into the next, or one double crochet into the next, sorry, one double crochet into the middle, one double crochet into the next, and right here in between these two we'll put two double crochets. Now we're going to skip one and continue putting one double crochet in every stitch until we get back to the beginning because we have our three spaces to put our three last three crocodile stitches so one double in every stitch until we get back to the beginning and remember you should have 34 double crochets when you make it back to the beginning okay once you make it back to the beginning you got your 34 stitches go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your beginning chain three now we're going to slip stitch five times over to get to this where we need to do our first crocodile stitch. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll work a crocodile stitch here and then we'll skip one, slip stitch, skip one, crocodile stitch. And this we'll, we'll repeat that until we get our three crocodile stitches done. So I'll meet you right over here at this last crocodile stitch. 
Okay, I just did my last crocodile stitch, so I want to skip one, slip stitch into the next, slip stitch in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. We are almost done. Okay, I ended in a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Now I want to chain one, and I'm going to go back in and single crochet into that same spot. And now I'm going to single crochet in every stitch all the way back around to the beginning. You want to make sure you get every stitch. You want to have 34 stitches when you get back around. So if you need to move your crocodile stitches around, make sure you get them all. Every one that we slip stitched into and everything. So just go ahead and work around one single crochet in every stitch. Okay, once you make it back around and you have your 34 stitches, I went ahead and put a stitch marker here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over and I'm going to put one single crochet into the next stitch. Not that chain one, but the next single crochet. And I want to put one single crochet in 15 stitches in a row. So this counts as number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I'm going to do a single crochet decrease over the next two. So I'm going to go into the next one and drop a loop. And go into the next one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. So that took two stitches and made it into one. Now I'm going to repeat that again. One single crochet in the next 15 stitches. And that should leave you two stitches left before your stitch marker. You want to go ahead and decrease over those two. So go in, drop a loop, go into the next one, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Now you should have 32 stitches. So you want to pull out your stitch marker, bring it up, and now we're just going to work one single crochet in every stitch around until you get back to your stitch marker. And you'll have 32 stitches when you make it back around. Okay, I've made it to my stitch marker again. 32 stitches, pull it up, and I'm just going to do one more round of one single crochet in every stitch. And that will be, then we'll tie off after that. So one single in every stitch till you get to your stitch marker. 32 stitches when you get there. Okay, once you make it back around your stitch marker, just go ahead and slip stitch into that next stitch. And you can tie that off and hide that tail. Take that stitch marker out. One more thing I am going to do real quick is go around the bottom here with a row of single crochet just to clean that up. So you can start anywhere that you want. I'll probably start towards the back here. Go into any stitch. Chain one. And go back in that same stitch. Single crochet. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch across the bottom. And you should have 30 stitches here across the bottom. That's just, this is just to clean up this bottom row here. So one single in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back around, just go on in, in your first single crochet 
not that chain one, but single crochet. And then you could tie this off. Can't find my scissors, so I gotta rip it. And hide the tails, and that's it. That's all there is to this. You're finished. But once you get all your tails hidden, put it on. And now, it looks like that. The back saw plain, and the top has the crocodile stitches. So I hope you were able to follow along. Okay, I know it's a little bit, probably a little bit a difficult of a tutorial. But um, if you make this or anything else, I'd really like to see a picture of it. Don't forget to post a picture on the Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Um, don't forget to check me out on Instagram also. Um, and until next time, have a good day.